Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and in today's video I would like to show you one way to generate dummy data to be able to practice your Power BI skills. But first of all, make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. Clicking on the bell icon also helps a lot. I'm going to demonstrate how to create randomized Excel spreadsheets that you can import to Power BI. You might ask, what's the reason behind this? I would say that many times when I try to learn something new, such as a new tool, I need to practice and need to get my hands dirty. In addition to that, when you create a proof of concept for your report, it's always useful to have flexible data at your disposal. If you have access to live data, it could be tricky to adjust, create outliers and just play with them. So without further ado, let's head over to Excel. Yes, you heard me right, Excel. I am going to prepare a dummy sales report with all the dimension tables. Remember, star schema to rule them all. So we're going to need a fact table with product ID, customer ID, date, warehouse ID, and let's say quantity. Before we begin, let's just agree on a couple of things. Firstly, our imaginary company is a seller of TVs and mobile phones. We specialize in large TV sizes, let's say 70 inches and above. And we are going to have two types of panels, OLED and LCD. If these acronyms mean nothing to you, don't worry, it's just different types of TVs. When it comes to mobile phones, we sell third-party phones. With that cleared, we can start building our product table. I'm going to create 14 different products, so we need product IDs. Our unique values will go from 1 to 14. After that, I'm going to come up with random names. This is actually just typing in whatever we want to see. Then, for the sake of this video, let's say we need product size, product category and product group. Again, you can come up with any kind of data that you want to create. That's the beauty of it. Let me fill those out really quickly. Look at it, we already have our product table. We can copy paste this to create our customer table. Replacing product to customer streamlines our processes. We are not lazy, just efficient, right? Let's create 10 customers. Because I know that I want to have three customer groups, I'm going to start with that. After that, just randomly fill in names, sizes and categories. Again, this table could contain whatever information you want it to contain. Do you want to add an extra field for discount rates? It's not rocket science. Just go to column F, call it customer discount and fill it with numbers you want to see. Just like that. As a last bit, I'm going to create a warehouse table so we can identify from which imaginary warehouse we sold our imaginary products. I'm only going to create these three as we are not that big of a company yet. But with some proper analysis, we hope to grow. All right, so now we have three pointy ends of our star and we will be able to create our date table with DAX. That means that it is time to create our fact table or sales record. As you already know, because you are a data modeling expert, we only need to use IDs in our fact table. If you are not sure why, just check out my video on the star schema. I'll add that to the end of this video and the description below. So back to Excel. We need five fields to be able to start practicing in Power BI. Date, product, customer, and warehouse ID, and of course, quantity sold. Now this is where we utilize Excel's random functions. For our date, let's say we want to create dates between 1st of January 2017 and 31st of December 2020. 
I just simply root those to the side. And in cell A2, I can write my formula. It's going to be a rand between, as Excel essentially handles dates as numbers. And I'm going to use rand between for all the other columns as well. You see, it's not that difficult. Now it's time to drag down this formula, let's say till row 75,000. Quickly copy paste as values, just to make sure that these numbers are not going to be recalculated. As a finishing touch, just delete our date helpful cells and we are good to go. Now let's head over to Power BI and import all of these. We can click on Get Data from Excel, select our file, then import all sheets in one go. Let's click on Transform Data first, just to make sure that everything is in the right field type. And now we have our tables in Power BI. Let's close and apply. If we head over to the model view, we can see that just because we use the same names for our ID columns, Power BI immediately created the relationships as well. And the final table that we need to add here is going to be our calendar table. Let's do that quickly in DAX. Now we need to mark it as a date table. We should never forget that, right? And as a finishing touch, we just need to create a relation to our sales table and we will have a beautiful star schema. But the most important part is that now we have a fully functioning dummy data set that we can use to improve our knowledge in Power BI or enhance our skills in DAX, in Power Query, or in data visualization. The beauty of this method is that you can come up with anything. You can create a dummy model based on your business case. Or if you want, it is possible to create more advanced scenarios or just some data to learn and practice in Power BI. The benefit of doing this instead of using Microsoft's free, readily available data sets is the flexibility. In case you realize that you need an extra field or need a new table, you can easily do that. At the end of the day, Contoso is also an imaginary company, right? So why not come up with your own company? Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you will be able to generate your own dummy data and practice with Power BI. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new video is available. Stay tuned for more videos to come. See ya.